The talonavicular joint manipulation can be used for a hypomobile joint in a foot with a normal or high arch. The navicular is considered the keystone of the medial arch of the foot, and although the stability it provides is necessary, it can also be involved in the lack of pronation, an important motion in gait. The normal talonavicular joint experiences dorsiflexion with the downward pressure of the talus. A foot shape characterized by a high arch, or pes cavus, biomechanically causes forefoot plantar flexion and may or may not result in long-term pain and or deficits in gait and balance. To perform the manipulation, have the patient comfortably long sit with one bent knee so the foot is flat and in slight plantar flexion. Position yourself on the side of the foot and grasp the mid and forefoot with the caudal hand and provide a distraction force. With the hypothenar eminence of the other hand, provide a downward force over the navicular and mobilize the joint to its end range before finishing it with a high velocity, low amplitude thrust. Have the patient comfortably long sit with one bent knee so that the foot is flat and in slight plantar flexion. Position yourself on the side of the foot and grasp the mid and forefoot with your caudal hand to provide a distraction force. With the hypothenar eminence of your other hand, provide a downward force over the navicular to mobilize the joint to its end range before finishing it with a high velocity, low amplitude thrust. One might explain the manipulation to a patient like this. The joint in your right foot beyond your ankle is not moving the way it should be. And if I can loosen it up a little, it may help with your situation. What I need to do is hold the front of your foot while I push down on the bone that needs to move more. Okay. May I do this with you? Yes. All right. So like we said, to move these bones around a little bit, it might uh, make you feel a little bit better. What I'd like to do is walk around and, and see if there's any difference, right? Go ahead.